Hello, this presentation is about the use of the area interim data for ocean reanalysis in order to understand the climate of regional ocean configurations and its evolution to era 5, the fifth generation of ECNWF atmospheric reanalysis of the global climate. Reanalysis is in fact a key contribution to the implementation of the EU Copernicus Climate Change Service delivered by the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecast, ECNWF. Understanding the complexity of the ocean processes to predict changes and climate extremes from the global to regional to coastal scales and to forecast sea conditions evolution in times requires advanced numerical ocean modelling for reconstructing the past and the present climate. In operational oceanography, the reanalysis of physical parameters at various temporal resolutions, month, season and year, offers an accurate knowledge of the ocean state for predicting the climate anomalies and the definition of the climate change indicators such as sea level, ocean acidification and ice. The Copernicus Marine Environment Monitoring Service delivers reliable and robust analysis products for the European seas, thanks to the high quality and high resolution atmospheric data delivered within the Copernicus Climate Service. These products are instrumental for developing and improving ocean to coastal models, services and climate indicators, for a better response to societal needs and for helping the Marine Strategy Framework Directive implementation. But why are interim data are used? Reanalysis data are used for monitoring climate change, for research and education, for commercial applications. Observations are assimilated into a model of the atmosphere and related parts of the Earth system to produce a complete representation of the state of the atmosphere at any given time. In numerical weather prediction, this process is used to make predictions. In climate reanalysis, it is used to reconstruct the climate and weather of the past. The proposed downstream use case would show the applicability and the usability of the era interim data for ocean reanalysis in order to understand the climate of regional ocean configurations. And in particular, it will show the high resolution short term reconstruction of the Mediterranean Sea climate based on reanalysis data sets between 1987 and 2012 and of the Black Sea climate based on reanalysis data sets between 2005 and 2014. Users may access oceanographic data through the Siemens Marine Catalog by selecting the preferred area. Products can be either model or observations data. In the model data group, the user may select analysis and forecast or reanalysis depending on the requested time coverage and ocean state characteristics for physics, biogeochemistry and waves. For example, consider the Mediterranean and Black Sea Two reanalysis products for physics are available. In the Mediterranean, a dataset covering the 1982-2014 period, and for the Black Sea, a dataset covering the period 2005-2015. But now, what is exactly a reanalysis? Given a day X, a reanalysis is defined as a reconstruction of the past ocean state. Initial conditions, for example, climatological ocean fields for temperature, salinity, currents, and sea surface height, atmospheric forcing and observation enter into a frozen ocean model, which is based on the best parameterization for the core model and the data simulation. Given this information, the model is run to produce a reanalysis ocean field. The area that are represented is atmospheric forcing. For example, the physical parameters such as the 2 meters dew point temperature, the 2 meters temperature, the total cloud cover, the 10 meters U and V wind components, and the mean sea level pressure, which rule the air sea interactions. Era interim is available to users through a CNWF catalog. The reanalysis atmospheric data are available since 1979 and they are produced using a 2006 release of the Integrated Forecasting System, which includes a four-dimensional variation scheme for data simulation, with a 12-hours analysis window. Era interim data are updated once per month, 
with a delay of two months to perform quality assurance and product quality. ERA Interim is the source data used for producing the Mediterranean and Black Sea analysis datasets. For example, consider the Mediterranean Sea. The reanalysis product provides climate sea information of the sea surface temperature field computed by averaging over the 1987-2014 period or statistics or temperature computed using observed data from satellite which provide a description of the seasonal cycle over the basin, or also statistics over the water column in terms of profiles computed using observed data from Argo profiles which provide a description of the vertical variability of temperature and salinity. A similar information in terms of statistics and maps may be derived by analyzing the Black Sea analysis dataset. Seasonal cycle is represented by the evolution in time of bias and root mean square errors computed by comparing model data with observations. The graphs show an increased error during the summer period, up to 0.9 Celsius degrees, and an average root mean square of around 0.5 Celsius degrees. Reanalysis may allow evaluating also the patterns of ocean circulation, showing the persistency of the rim current, which is a permanent strong current structure which flows cyclonically over the basin, spanning from the shelves of the interior zone of the Black Sea. We have seen up to now the use of the era interim reanalysis but soon ERA5 will be available and will replace ERA interim. ERA5 is the fifth generation of ECNWF atmospheric reanalysis of the global climate. ERA5 climate reanalysis contains estimates of atmospheric parameters such as air temperature, pressure and wind at different altitudes and surface parameters such as rainfall, soil moisture content, sea surface temperature and wave height. Harley analysis fields will be available at a horizontal resolution of 31 km and on 137 levels from the surface up to 0.01 hectopascal around 8 km. In addition, information on uncertainties will be provided for each parameter at three hourly intervals and a horizontal resolution of 62 km. The ERA5 data simulation system uses the current version of the integrated forecasting system with several added features specifically developed for reanalysis. The difference between ERA interim and ERA5 are shown in this table. The main advancement introduced in ERA5 are that the ERA5 data will be at a much higher resolution than ERA interim and with more frequent output release. All ERA5 data products will include information about uncertainties and many new parameters such as the 100 meters wind speed and direction will be available as part of the output. Moreover, a database containing all ingested observations together with detailed information about how they are used will be available and accessible to users. This presentation has shown how ocean analysis are produced using our interim data and used for evaluating the ocean state and climate in two European seas, the Mediterranean and the Black Seas, in the framework of the Copernicus Marine Service. Involving end users and stakeholders may allow collecting opinions on, on how air data may be used for marine and atmospheric sciences and improving applications. Thanks to a constant update and improvement on the atmospheric modeling components of the by CNWF, as in the case of ERA5 new products, the ocean analysis may further improve in terms of accuracy, performances and climate description of the ocean state.